Hi guys, this is Smart Physics Tutorial for the Electromagnetic Waves 2. Okay, so in this question they give us the um, equation for the B. It's in I and this is J direction. They give us the lambda and they give us the magnitude in the X and the Y directions. Okay, so the first question is asking what is the frequency okay. and the frequency is simply just C over lambda okay it's a direct question and C is the speed of light okay so question number two is asking um, and, and by the way this question is in giga okay so wh whatever number you get um, just divide but like you get a number that is to the power 9 okay so just take that off and put giga instead of it gigahertz all right so question number two is asking um, what is I the intensity of this wave okay so I is will be equal to half Epsilon naught E naught squared, okay? Alright, we don't have E naught, but we have B, okay? But don't forget that B is in two directions, okay? So in order to find the B naught, so B naught is gonna be in two directions, to, so we're gonna find the magnitude, so B, B Y squared squared, and take the square root of that, okay? All right. So to change the um, the electric field to magnetic field, it's E naught times B naught times C. C the speed of light again. Okay. All right. So now the intensity will be look like this. So I equal half epsilon naught B naught C squared. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's get to number three. Three is asking um, what is CZ? Okay, the, the Z component of the pointing vector. Okay. Alright, so let's draw this thing. So the magnetic field is going into the I direction and the J direction. So let's call this Y and then this is X, this is Z, okay? So it's in the Y direction, it's 5.5, it's going like this. And in the X direction, it's going 2.4, okay? So it's kind of, this is the magnitude, okay? And if you look at this here, wh where would I know that the vector um, of the magnetic field will be this point or this point? Well, looking back at this, this is positive, okay? That means it's going back in the negative direction. So to make it going back, the, the, um, the S is equal to E cross B, okay? So when the electric field is here and you do E, cross B, it's going to be pointing, your thumb will be pointing in the Z minus direction, okay? So let me draw this um, in just the XY plane. So here's the B naught here, and the magnetic field is this way, so it's E cross B, so E and then crossed on B, so it's going into the page which is the Z minus, okay? Got it? But I cool. So the CZ for this at specific time, because they're asking at specific time, the equation for it is equal. Um, looking back at the pre lecture, it's C times the epsilon naught times the E squared. Okay? Cool. And the E naught squared is um, just B, dot, uh, B times C, B naught times C. Okay? Cool. 
yeah speed of light epsilon naught and then the electric field you can like write it like this um, um, since this is the same which is b naught c and square this guy so we'll get the value for this but don't forget to make it negative you know why right because it's heading in the negative direction because of um, this positive sign here so question number four is asking this is a time question guys I don't know if it's right or not but here's what I did for it okay so they want the EX okay they want the x component of the electric field at time equals zero. Cool? Okay, so if you look back, let's go back to this one here. So if they want the x component, then it's this angle here, and we'll take the cosine of it, right? So it's if we call this theta, it's the cosine of theta times the e naught, right? This is e naught. It's just the cosine of the theta. All right, what's what is this angle? This angle is um, gonna be uh, let's call this phi. Okay, so we can know the phi here because we have the y component and we have the x component. So this can look like this. This is this was 5.5, .5, which is the b um, y, and this is the b x. Okay which was 2.4 yeah 2.4 okay so we don't know this angle this angle would be the tangent inverse tangent of by divided by bx okay so to get this angle here we're gonna do is 90 minus 10 inverse um, by over bx I hope you can see that, right? You can get that. This is 90, and the whole thing is um, 180 degrees. So it's going to be 90 minus tangent inverse of this angle. Okay? Alright, cool. Is that right? Let me make sure. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So you're gonna get the um, EX for at time equals zero. So question number five is: um, They say that they we have this equation now, which is B equal B X I minus B um, J times the cosine of is minus omega t okay so they're asking um, is it how, how like compared to the one before compared to this guy here okay so this guy was going in the z minus direction okay so since they the bx they just like flip the bx like the value of the by and bx so now the bx is 5.5 and the by is 2.4 okay that's what they, they they flip this and they flip this they flip this okay, so let's see what's gonna happen now so if we draw this back again here um, so it's going the j is going in the minus direction right and the x is still going into the into the positive x so the magnitude of it is going this way so now this sign is minus here okay so it's gonna go in the positive the positive z direction cool so the magnetic field will be pointing if we want to do um let's do the x y plane so here's y here's x and the z positive is coming out of the screen um so this guy is going down this is the b naught and so if we want to do this guy here and we do E cross B so E is going with this cross B so you, your thumb is pointing out of the screen okay so it's going the wave is going this way okay and since they didn't change it 
because we're looking at the magnitude of it b naught it doesn't make any different if you add this first or this first then the magnitude is the same I don't know how to write it. the magnitude is the same but the direction is positive so the answer would be S11Z is bigger than zero but the same magnitude as SZ the first one okay got it all right I hope this helped and the noise didn't affect what we're saying because I'm at McDonald's now let me give you a small view yeah all right good luck guys I get kicked out of home because everybody's sleeping and I can't talk when they sleep my brother is sleeping <laughs> anyway uh, good luck guys